Hello, human beings. I am in a Barnes & Noble that I have not been to before. This one's near me, and this one is one of the only ones near me that has a upstairs section. So we're taking the escalator up here. This is a pretty nice store from the looks of it. But the real test gonna be how good is the manga section. Okay, so their manga section is not as big as most stores around me, which is a bummer. But we got these Barnes & Noble gift cards here and we gonna spend them. We are gonna spend them. I am definitely on the lookout for a lot of newer titles that have new releases and a lot of the oldies, but the goodies, a lot of things are out right now. And unfortunately, I'm not seeing much. They do got a Chainsaw Man box set, which I don't need. And it is obviously retail, which is way too much money. All right, there we go. First pick up, Very Dece. I need Die Dark number six. So I'm gonna get Die Dark number six. I contemplated getting the Die Dark box set, but since I already own the singles, uh, I don't want to get the box set for each one. The Horizon, I need this one, number three. Excellent. But as you can see, it is trashed. It has got peeling on the back cover and I think even the front cover. Yeah, oh, yuck. Yuck. Don't want that. Don't want that. I don't even know how that happens. Is someone just standing there and... Barnes & Noble just like picking at the manga like a scab? That is jank. Now behind the scenes my wife is picking up manga for herself. Which is a good thing because I won't be able to spend all these Barnes & Noble gift cards if I'm just picking up one volume of Die Dark. I do like these shelves that they have. Not all the barns around me have these shelves. Got some Parasite there. I believe I have number four. I think we're waiting on number five. Yeah, but these shelves are really nice. I like them. Does anybody get overwhelmed with the amount of manga that you're like looking at in a bookstore? I don't. I've looked at so much manga anymore, I know most of these spines just by seeing them for the gazillionth time. But continuing the scan here, I'm noticing that not only do they have nothing out early, which they don't have to, but it's, it's nice when they do. They don't even have the things that are actually released. So at this point, coming up on the end, I am not impressed. Super not impressed. So we are going to go to a good bookstore to get some good manga after this for sure. They got this cute little wall of extra things. Has anybody ever read this? This Steam Riviere? This, this looks really nice. I like the art on this, like, a lot. It has, like, tarot cards in it or something, too. Looks cool. Got a couple extra doodads there. Boom! It is time! That place was jank. We did end up picking up some stuff there, but we are at Books A Million. This one near us has usually the best manga section in the area. So we came here to get loaded up with manga. And they have a lot of gacha things too. Little blind loot boxes. They always have this nice middle section of newer releases and box sets. This one looks cool from IZE Press. I might have to check that out. Yen, if you're listening, you should send me one of those. <laughs> 
Dark Moon, another one? I have not heard of this. Another IZE? I'll have to look into that, see what it's about. Cat Eyed Boy, excellent already. Uh, they have one I was trying to pick up from Barnes & Noble. They got the regular neighborhood story here. My wife liked that series. I got her the Kinu Kinuya special edition one. What do they got on this side? Box sets for retail pass. Some next volumes and some series. Nothing too exciting. But we got Toilet Bound number 19 need that thank you applause that cover looks pretty cool and they got this nice little popular section of manga that's popular and they got these blue locks here i've been seeing these around these are variant covers for the blue locks i think it looks pretty cool with the shiny the shiny words we got cups and we got manga. Pardon the shaky cam. I'm getting situated and ready to get down. Okay, already seeing a lot of stuff that I need. I need this Borderland, Alice in Borderland here, number eight. I was surprised that the Barnes and Noble didn't have that. That's a bigger title. I'm gonna pick that up in a sec so I don't have to carry it. Uh, YouTube channel, so. Well, we don't get any questions about anything. Yeah, no problem, thanks. I was just stopped there by an employee for filming. Happens every so often. They were just wondering if I was a vlogger or something and just let them know I am a manga YouTuber. So I'm a hella weeb. So continuing on here with this much better selection with a lot of stuff. And like I said in the last door, the wife is behind the scenes loading up, picking up a lot of stuff that I want and she wants. Because I do not hold all the manga I'm buying while I while I film. Taking a second break from the manga for a second because I seen this beautiful Bond plush. Such a cute little dog. Bond. 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 Back to the manga here. Got Damons in the Shadow Realm. Damons? It's a good series. Got to pick up that one. That's the next one. There's the Deer King down there. I have a volume of that, but I have not read it. If you have read it, or you read the light novel versions, let me know if it is good. Got Dora Hidoro here. I am picking up these. I have a bunch at my house. I don't know what volumes I'm missing, but I know I have number six. This BAM just also has a lot of other series that I haven't seen, like this one here. Dungeon Friends. They just have like a better stock of new manga and a bunch of other random manga. I need Fist of the North Star number 11. Wish they had that. Free Ren, still excellent. I wish there was like 10 more of these on the shelf so I could buy them all. They also have a decent selection of the art books and stuff. Golden Kamui there, almost done with that. I have volume one of Glitch, but I don't have volume two. This second volume looks sweet. I like the way they're doing the spines on those. There we go, the Horizon 3, and it's not beat to heck. 
like the Barnes & Noble version, definitely picking that up. The conclusion to this story, it's going to be heart-wrenching. Such an emotional series. Read at your own risk. Let's see, what do we got? A lot more stuff. Jojo's there. Just checking if Volume 2 of Stone Ocean came out extra early. Of course it is not. Though it'll probably be out at the time that I release this. Since I'm not going to be releasing this right away. Kimono Jaihan. Does want. Number 9 of that. Really like that series so far. I see those Les Miserables at the bottom. I wonder if those are good. A lot of manga. We are just blazing past things. We got Mashal 14. I'll pick that up. Honestly, series is mid. You know, it's it's a 6.5, 7 out of 10. Nothing too crazy. But I'm in it this far now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna finish it. Alright, speeding up here. So many manga to look at. NPCs in this village sim. Great manga. Wish there was more of those. They come out very slow. Tons and tons of manga in this BAM. They have so many series. Got Parasite there. We're starting to see the awesomeness of the spines going from blood to bruise. Alright, we have Pluto here. Don't see that very often, generally in the bookstores. Might be getting some reprints or something, or they just had some. So if you need Pluto, maybe check out your store. There's just so much manga here, it's crazy. So I'm just blazing past them. I already took a peek before I started filming. Got Rooster Fighter number five. I need that one. That chicken foot looks crazy. I'll grab that. A lot of Seven Deadly Sins. I'm seeing that in a lot of stores. I already have that. We got Shaman King there. Here we got Sora in the House of Monsters. I have this one, but I don't see it that often. Uh, really, really nice volume one. I liked it, and the cover art is awesome. So, And then we got Reborn as a Goblin. Gotta pick that one up. New volume of that. Sorry for the slightly shaky cam. Doing this on the phone. Kind of like an impromptu. I go I go manga shopping all the time. And I should have 50 shopping videos out every year. I'm just a lazy sloth. So I'm trying to give you guys something. Got Tomahawk Angel here. I keep saying it. If you see it, pick it up. What a great, fun volume one. Excited to see more Tomahawk Angel volumes come out. Faux show. Good stuff. Just such a better, more diverse variety of manga. It might be that the Barnes & Noble's just scared to stock all this extra stuff. Windbreaker, aka Tokyo Revengers Light. If you need more Tokyo Revengers in your life. Try Windbreaker. Then they got some weeb stuff, some Funkos. I I would have bought one or two of these Junji Ito 
grab bags, but they were sold out, which is a hella bumski. They got cups and hats. I don't know about you, but I would not be caught dead wearing a uh, heck of weeb hat like that. This Hercules mug's kind of cool. I like that. Got like a spinny pot on the side. Then you got your backpacks that barely hold anything. This store just has so many of these like grab bag figures. Ooh, cool. We got an Inuyasha one there. That's kind of cool. Alright, I'm going to pick up this Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory one. And we are going to get Willy Wonka. That's the one I want. I would be bummed with any of the other ones. Okay, let's see what we picked up. We got two hauls. We don't just go and film shopping videos and not buy what we're picking up and looking at. So let's see what we got. This chunk here is from Barnes & Noble. I picked up Witch of Thistle Castle number two. I did end up picking up the Die Dark. Now this uh, Barnes & Noble, like I showed, was not impressive. First time there, not impressed. Their manga selection was pretty pretty dumpy especially for all the new stuff that was out for multiple days this is the only thing in the whole store that I got for myself the rest were picked up for my wife here we have shy number five picked up that too a couple biggies here we got the remarried empress number five also this is a full color IZE press one in the clear moonlit dusk number six that up Damons of the shadow realm number Number three and a big one here this is a this is a big one by seven C's a stepmother's marching if I'm saying that right and that's number two and these were picked up from the Barnes & Noble with the gift cards so didn't cost us anything nice pick up there now the next place you saw us go was the BAM the books a million now around us we have a bunch of Barnes & Noble and a few books a million BAMs the books a millions always have way more manga and way better selection than the Barnes & Noble and this time was no different got reborn as a goblin number four I uh, got a cheat skill in another world number four also Mashal number 14 a lot of new releases too that the Barnes and Noble just didn't have. We have Love a Kill 13. This is the last one in this series. So wife is excited to see the conclusion to this series. We got cross dressing villainous Cecilia something number five there. Blue box number eight. Then we have Toilet Bound Hanako Kun number 19, which you saw me grab. Kimono Jaihen number nine. They just had all the newer releases, which was amazing, and they usually always have them. As you can see right here this is already more volumes than we got at the Barnes and Noble so let's keep going chilling in another world volume 7 I got the dungeon people number 3 been waiting for this one I, I like this color this like salmon looking color correspondence from the end of the universe volume 4 excited for that one we got an ancient Magus bride 19 more just new releases here come the heavies the bigger ones picked up Cat Eyed Boy number two found a nice copy. That's another thing. It doesn't always happen, but the books and millions around us always seem to have nicer copies, or you can find a nicer copy of a book in them. The Barnes and Nobles look like they were always just run through by like a five year old eating Cheetos or something. Got Alice in Borderland number eight. Now we're out of room. We're gonna start stacking these on top of each other. Zoom out a little bit. Nina and the Starry Bride number number one new series there another new series is how I met my soulmate that looks like a good one insomniacs after school number four saving 80,000 gold in another world number four also I did pick up the rooster fighter number five which I saw there I mean might as well and then I got the horizon the last one this is number three the final book in this series and it's amazing it's so heart-wrenching so read at your own risk and as you saw the Barnes and Noble one was like peeling. I don't even know how it gets that way. How would it get how would it peel like that if somebody's not like picking at it or something? But I did end up picking up that one, obviously. Another new one which is cool and this is The Secret of Friendship by Seven Seas and I think I think this is just an all-in-one. 
I'm assuming. I see no numbers on it. And then we got that time I got reincarnated as a slime, number 23. So here is the books a million haul. We got like 20 plus books here. Nice, chunky haul. Obviously, I don't pay retail for these. I have a 10% off of everything membership. And then there was uh, manga deals. And then we have ongoing coupons where I can get $25 off of 100 spent or more. So you can split those up and get basically 25% off your order there and then another 10% off each time and if you were wondering I did end up getting the Willy Wonka in the little loot bag thing and I did cheat because I wanted Willy Wonka so I felt around for his hat so we got a little Willer Wonka please take the time to hit that like button it means so much to me and subscribe if you have not let me know what you would have picked up from the store and I'll see you all next time.